Hello, and welcome to Project Resolution. I am Matt Kahn, and as always, it is such an honor to be here with you. Now, on today's call, which we will title The Expansion of Consciousness, I want to give you what the universe is asking me to share as a gift of perspective. Because on the Project Resolution calls, we often do guided meditations, visualizations, set intentions, blessings, and prayers for all of the positive and inspired change that we wish to see in the world. And of course, in living at this pivotal time of ascension as lightworkers, anchoring the light of a new humanity, it can be very easy to think that by looking around, it looks like everything is falling apart instead of coming together. And often when we see things like that, or we have energetically sensitive beings, tend to get overwhelmed by how much the collective is processing, clearing, and healing, we often respond to the dissonance we see in the world, the contradictions <clears throat> that seem to run and govern society, whether it's political corruption or personal betrayal or feeling like we're living in a world that just seems to have forgotten the power and necessity of ethics and values. It's very easy to look at the world on the outside and think that what you're seeing is showing you where humanity is. And so the universe, the Ascended Masters, the Galactic Council, has asked me to give you this gift of perspective that we're going to call the expansion of consciousness. So that while we are all affecting the change we wish to see, whether spiritually, vibrationally, socioeconomically, or politically, we can do so not from a state of victimhood, disempowerment, scarcity, or survival mode, but to do it from the space where we are already living in the uplifted, transformed vibration that we are watching come to life in the world around us. And just be, as we begin this, I want to offer this reminder. And the reminder is, is that all of, as all of us go through the inner changes and transformation of spiritual evolution, whether on a healing journey, an awakening journey, or an integration journey, change occurs from the inside out which means you will experience change on the inside. And because we are have incarnated on this planet on a journey of time, which is the fourth dimension, it takes a little bit of time for the changes on the inside to occur on the outside. And just as a human being experiences inner change and then the external reality takes longer to reflect that back, so too is Mother Earth going through what is already Mother Earth on the inside aligned in 5D consciousness. And those waves of energy ripple out and transform everything within the sphere of Mother Earth into that fifth dimension over a period of time. And before I dive into this teaching, just as another helpful hint, things are transforming in what is called real time. But because of the universe outside of this planet, the universe outside of this planet has a natural state called instantaneous manifestation, which in heaven we're used to intending, and then it happens. In earth, what we call real time is actually slow motion compared to the instantaneous manifestation of the universe. So when we are here as light workers and it seems like things are taking a long time to change, especially on a collective level, we have to remember what looks like real time is slow motion compared to the instantaneous manifestation your soul knows to be natural state. And so it helps us relax and allows life to be a process a process of expanding consciousness that is my gift from my heart to yours for all that we are healing in ourselves and transforming for the planet. Now, when I say the expansion of consciousness, 
what I am really suggesting and pointing to is on the inside of every form and person. Consciousness is always in a state of expansion. And yet what's interesting is that the perception and awareness of an individual may not match the ever-expanding state of consciousness. And so because we're on a project resolution call, let's just think of the world as the world may not seem to change, but the consciousness within the world is always expanding and growing no matter what people are thinking, saying, choosing, or deciding. And it's very important as light workers that we spend time communing, connecting, and basking in the glory of a consciousness that has no other will but to grow and expand and evolve. And the difference is that when the ever-expanding consciousness within any form becomes aware of itself as ever-expanding consciousness, that's when our awareness transforms. And that's when one begins to go through the rehabilitation journey of choosing, thinking, speaking, and deciding from that expanded consciousness instead of from the woundedness of their past. And so this can be very confusing because someone who is in tune, and a lot of us are, with the flow of the universe will give testimony that the universe is expanding and growing and evolving. And then we can look at the world and go, it looks like things are falling apart. And so it makes us feel like maybe I'm not in tune with what's happening or maybe what someone's saying is wrong. And yet it's, it's, it's part of this dualistic play where as consciousness is expanding in every form, as the awareness of that expanding consciousness dawns within any person, their awareness of it now allows them to become that consciousness. And just as any kind of transmutation or flow of alchemy, the old is deconstructed while the new is emerging. And in the world we are living in, we are seeing the gross and drastic deconstruction of an old, unconscious, masculine-dominated paradigm. And we are seeing the old crumble. We are seeing the healing of the feminine emerge. And we will soon be seeing the rise of the inequality of the masculine and feminine in both their divine aspects. And as the masculine and feminine come into the fullness of their being, the duality of this planet dissolves and oneness arises in collective vision. And so each and every one of us are a part of this expanding consciousness, but, but we must know that consciousness is always expanding, whether you're aware of it or not. And trying to always be aware of it is not going to help you be in that flow. What actually helps you is knowing no matter how bad the world seems, no matter how disenchanted I feel, consciousness is always expanding. I don't have to be in charge of it when I'm already a crucial part of it. And the crucial part of it you are is all of it. And so just as a simple repeat after me, just to make sure that all the work we're doing as light workers and social activists, blessers and anchors of light and a new humanity, just try these words out loud. While it is important to take social action, it is of equal importance to be aligned with ever-expanding consciousness so 
so that all of my actions come from a place of empowerment instead of struggle, scarcity, or survival. Consciousness is always expanding. And yet it's possible to still see atrocity. If outside the awareness... of the one it's expanding within. So if I ask myself, what can I do to assist in helping those who are unaware of expanding consciousness Become more aware of it. So to help those who are hurt. Heal without hurting others. The only answer is the more i am the more i affirm consciousness is always expanding in me the more aware i become of expanding consciousness the more i affirm that consciousness is always expanding in me. The more aware of conscious, the more aware I become of expanding consciousness. (laughs) Easy for me to say. And the more aware I become of the consciousness always expanding in me. The more I help those who are unaware, to wake up. And break the cycles of unconsciousness. This doesn't mean that the violence I see in the world is because I'm unaware of my consciousness. Those patterns were already in play before I incarnated. But I chose to incarnate to affirm the expansion of my consciousness, knowing that the more aware I am, of consciousness always expanding in me. The more I help others awaken, where hurt can be healed without hurting others. So in the name of helping this planet ascend, creating a vibrational blueprint 
and infrastructure. Where abuse, trauma, manipulation, domination, greed, perversion, rape, murder, and enslavement are no longer a vibrational match for this planet and its inhabitants. May I participate in its unraveling and resolve. by affirming no matter how I feel or the role I play in the lives of others. Consciousness is always expanding in me. I'm simply on a journey learning to be aware of it. And no matter the state of the world, or the agendas I'm afraid are going to take over, I am simply witnessing the chaotic deconstruction of the dissolving collective unconscious that is only Armageddon. and the end of days. For a darkness, collective shadow, archetype of evil, and unconsciousness. whose time on this planet is done. Cleared out of this planet and returned to source. By the power of consciousness. always expanding in me. Just feel that. And as you're feeling this vibration, helping to clear more out of your field so the world can leap forward in greater progress, just take a moment and feel on the inside. No matter the storyline on the outside, Consciousness is always expanding on the inside. And the chaos we see is Armageddon and the end of days where the book of Revelation, not to get religious, but just metaphorical, Armageddon, the end of days, and the book of Revelation is only a prophecy for outdated ego consciousness.
And what we are witnessing on this planet is what I will call the final battle. Where as the vibration of darkness that no longer is a match for the alignment of 5D consciousness, Earth is aligned with on the inside and ripples out. As darkness is escorted out of this sphere. It leaves fighting every step of the way. And so, as we are the light bearers of an emerging consciousness, we slow the process by fighting with the things that are looking for things to fight. And the more you fight with things outside of you, the less aware you are and the less aware you become of the consciousness always expanding within you. And the things outside of you that are slowly being escorted out of this planet that are looking for a fight are trying to slow the expansion of your consciousness. And so when you see things in the world that disturb you and upset you, that's okay, but just know that's what the people who do these things are betting on you responding from. They need your anger. They need your fury. Because it takes your attention away from the consciousness that is moving this out of this planet. And if you don't want that plan to win, which it's never meant to win, but if you want the expansion of consciousness to be more apparent instead of elusive, we take appropriate affirmative and inspired civic, social, sometimes even political action. Never to oppose, but just to affirm what we stand for and what we are creating. If you want to fight injustice, you work towards implementing greater justice. Always in a positive, tangible, forward movement. If we wish to fight racism, we work towards greater equality. Greater acceptance of diversity. If we wish for things like human trafficking to stop, We work towards all gathering the resources that rescue those in that situation instead of fighting those who live to protect it. It's always what we're for, not what we're against, because then you're doing positive things while still being aware of the consciousness always expanding and all. There's a certain way to do this. And the word that helps you remember is aligned, inspired action. Three words. Alignment. To be aligned in truth. To move with love. And to act from a place of inspiration. If you want to fight hunger, we only work towards feeding more people. Always the affirmative. And so to really anchor what I'm, what I'm transmitting and, and planting seeds within your being, because we're all doing such an amazing job, and the refinement is we could always do it from a greater place of alignment. To anchor this. To anchor the remembrance of a consciousness that is always in an ever-expanding trajectory within you and within all. And you're only seeing the actions of those 
who are so completely unaware of this because they live to hide their pain in the lives of innocent people. To help deconstruct what no longer has a place on our planet and what has ultimately helped serve a greater awakening of consciousness by being so grossly out of alignment with the integrity of our values. First, just visualize by closing your eyes, just feel and visualize within your body a pure light, whether golden light or white light. And with every breath, whether you are aware of it or not, it is a light that only brightens and brightens and never dims or diminishes. The feeling of less than is simply a misuse of interpretation. But with every breath, your consciousness is a light that only gets brighter. And, you're, and you don't have to be in charge of it. Just know it is so. And now in front of you, imagine an earth. And with every breath as your body gets brighter, the earth too is equally getting brighter and brighter, no matter the state of the planet. Global affairs. or will of the people, or any agenda. And with every breath, see that the light in you and the light in this earth in front of you are equally brightening and brightening and brightening. Just to be aware of it right now in this moment makes it more apparent to you. And as you breathe, allow this ever-brightening earth to move into your heart chakra, allowing the ever-brightening, glowing earth to merge into your heart chakra and to become the center of this ever-brightening being that you are, which is ever-expanding consciousness and physical form. And while the world outside of you may be the reflection of the old being deconstructed, where the consciousness of the planet truly is, is now within your heart space for you to carry with you as a living prayer and blessing that you don't have to be in charge of being aware of because we've already put it inside of us, but just to hold within us so gently, no matter how my life seems to be, the consciousness within me is always ever expanding. And within my heart dwells an earth that is equally ever expanding and ever brightening. Where all I see around me are glimmers of its emergence. and the deconstruction and end of days for an outdated ego consciousness. That I help dissolve, clear out of this planet and return to source just by knowing that the consciousness in me and all are one, always in a state of ever-growing expansion, radiance, refinement, and perfection. And to further integrate the wisdom and transmission of this call, please carry with you a mantra that if you repeat so simply, simple words will bring you back to this energy, alignment, and remembrance. 
Anytime you are at a loss, your nervous system gets dysregulated by the things in the world that you see. When you lose hope in humanity, remember these words. Consciousness is always expanding. In you, in all, consciousness is always expanding. If you see on the news a tragic story, a disturbing tale, what do you say in response to that? Consciousness is always expanding. When you say that, what are you doing? You are seeing atrocity. You are permitting it to be cleared out of this field, and you are transmuting it back into light by saying consciousness is always expanding. Instead of identifying with that vibration by responding to that story with more things to judge and persecute. If you go on social media or wherever and see the face of a pedophile, consciousness is always expanding to bring that person to justice so they're no longer a risk to themselves and others so that there are no more victims and that this whole play of victimhood and predatorial behavior can be resolved. Consciousness is always expanding. You drive down the street and you see homeless encampments. Consciousness is always expanding. That helps raise the vibration and bring any resource to bring them whatever they need, food, shelter, drug rehabilitation, whatever it is. In response to anything you see that troubles you, don't try to not be troubled because you can't control it. It's just after you see something or respond. Your job is not to try to, res to feel different. That will happen naturally. Your job is simply to affirm consciousness is always expanding. That's how we anchor light. That's how we lead with blessings. That's how we transmute what is done and ready to leave this planet and to bring forth the light that takes its place. If someone on social media is on a rant or attacking you for what they think you don't know or agree with, consciousness is always expanding. No explanation. No framework, just the affirmation of heaven's highest vision as the most practical prayer that when applied in your life in response to whatever you see throughout the day, helps to transform reality from the inside out as one for all. Consciousness is always expanding. Just feel. Even in response to personal affairs, the betrayal of a loved one, the mass exodus of family members, whether they've died or seem to not include you in their life or vice versa, consciousness is always expanding. Again, I just want to make this point abundantly clear. You're not trying to control how you feel during a reaction. That's already well underway before you even notice it. It's about once you notice the reaction, do you identify with the reaction? Do you judge yourself for reacting or do you respond with greater consciousness to say, may this that I'm reacting to be further healed for all simply by me saying, consciousness is always expanding. And this teaching, this call, called the Expansion of Consciousness, of course, will be a part of the other project re resolution calls, which you can listen for free 
when this replay is up. So you can always return to this alignment. Because that's what it means for light workers to stay the course, is just to, as gently as possible, remain focused on what you're witnessing is the deconstruction of a painful past occurring by an expanding consciousness that is only bringing more expanded consciousness into the awareness and lives of all. You are here to assist in it. You are not the cause of it. You are only the solution and the change that you wish to see. And I thank you for being a part of this mission where love always has the final say, where love always wins. Because any dark unconsciousness that fights on the battlefield of control does not know the ground it walks on is a consciousness always expanding. Expanding around it and within it. That's why we do not fight with the things looking for more things to fight. And as the consciousness of this planet and all beings continues to expand, we will move together as one eternal light, ushering in the Aquarian age of expanded consciousness, where simply a world becomes aware of an expanded consciousness that has always been here for those who have the awareness to see and feel it. Until we come together next time for our next collective effort of moving our planet in an evolutionary forward movement. May you carry with you the simple mantra, consciousness is always expanding. And may the truth of heaven's vision come alive in you, greater and more miraculously than ever before. I am Matt Kahn. I am bowing in your presence. I am honored to be here with you. Love always wins. Love already won. We're just remembering and becoming aware of it. Namaste.